Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another video. In the last video, we built these custom speaker pods for the Jimny. So in this video, we're gonna be installing the aftermarket sound system. So let's jump right into it. So the system we're gonna be installing today is the Nakamichi 1712 head unit, the Kicker CSS65 component series speakers. We also have an electronic antenna and an aftermarket uh, fascia for the Jimny. Alright, so we just unbox everything. So this is what was in the box. We have the head unit, manual, harnesses, remote. For the speakers, we had the two six and a half inch speakers. We have the tweeters, crossovers. We have some uh, mounting options for the tweeters and some mounting hardware here. In case you're all wondering, I picked up all of these from Team too low to flow. I'll put their info in the description and on the screen in case you want to pick up a set yourself. Alright, so that's what was in the box. So let's uh, install this in the Jimny. the ignition off, I used my tester to probe each wire to determine which one was the constant power wire. Once I found it, I labeled it. Next, I turned the ignition on and probed the remaining wires to find the accessory wire. And I labeled it. Then I turned the headlights on and probed the remaining wires to find the illumination wire. The last wire to identify was ground, so I attached my probe to the constant power wire and probed the black wire to confirm it was the ground wire. The remaining wires were speaker wires, so I used a 9 volt battery to test each colored pair by listening for the speaker pop to locate which speaker corresponds to each color. Alright, so I just went ahead and labeled all of the wires. I'll put what all of the colors mean on the screen. Uh, but here we have the constant 12 volts being white, ground is black, accessories black and white, um, illumination is red and yellow. Also, I didn't label the speaker wires because I'll be running my own speaker wire. But in case you're wondering, the red pair is for the driver front, the blue pair is for the passenger front, and the grey and the green is for the back. I don't have speakers in the box, I can't tell you which one is left and which one is right, but I will check a forum and I'll tell you um, which one is left and which one is right. Uh, we have the wire with the black stripe on it, that is the negative wire, and the solid color is the positive for each speaker. So next step now is to remove the kick panels from each side and remove the speaker to get ready for the aftermarket system. All right, so these are the front speakers that I just removed. I don't believe they are the stock speakers because they are aftermarket. So I think the previous owner of the Jimny put them in. So we're gonna be replacing these with our Kicker component series speakers. All right, so I just ran the wire from the crossover. So I ran the mid wire up inside the panel here through this grommet and inside the door. So this ready to connect to the door speakers here. So next, um, I wanna mount the tweeter. So this came with the component speakers so i want to mount this right here like that so i'm going to remove this pillar and mount this on it
right guys, so we just finished mounting the two tweeters. You can see one there and one here. I didn't send it uh, fully, I just have it rest there for now. So next step is to wire in the aftermarket harness to the factory harness there. All right, so I just finished uh, wire up the harness here. I didn't film anything because the gym is small and with a soldering iron and a heat gun and a tripod in here, it's just gonna make things, you know, horrible. So, um, I finished wire up this harness. You can see how nice and neat it is. So next step, we're gonna um, put on the speakers on the door cards and mount it back on the door. Alright guys, so I just finished mounting back the door. You can see how neat the pod look. So I finish this side and finish that side as well. You can see how neat that looking. So next step is to mount the head unit in here. Alright guys, so I took out the bracket from the stock head unit and I placed it on the aftermarket one. So you can see it right here. So now it's time to mount this back on the dash. Alright, so we just installed the head unit, so the last step now is to install the face. Now, you're probably wondering why I have a different face, is because of this. So if you look at the stock face, it's just a flat, uh, flat frame, compared to the aftermarket one, it has a, bev a bevel on both sides and top and bottom. Also this one has round edges, and this one has square edges. So this is made for an aftermarket head unit, while this one is for the stock head unit. So let's get this one on and check out the system. Alright, so we finished with the install, check how the speaker pods looking. So that's the driver side, passenger side looking good. We have the tweeters mounted on top the dash, and we have the head unit. Alright, so let me close the doors and I'll give you guys a sound test.
Alright guys, so there you have it. That is the sound quality. It might not sound as good because it's coming from the microphone, but I assure you it is 100% better than stock and it have a lot of new features as well compared to the stock head unit. So I'm really happy with the install. Also, uh, I'd like to say thank you for the continued support from each and every one of you. And I wish you all the best for 2023. Wishing you all a great year, a happy new year, and just an amazing, amazing year. If you reached this far in the video, drop a comment and let me know what type of videos you all want to see in 2023. If you want to see more adventures, you want to see more modifications, more build, um, more casual vlogs, drop any comment, drop some ideas, let me know what you all want and I could always uh, film it for you guys. Alright, so thank you again for the support. As always, if you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, leave some good vibes in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one. All the best for the new year. Peace.